Clouds put a damper on some of the eclipse excitement here in southeast Minnesota and northeast Iowa, but it didn't shy away from some rare learning opportunities. Our Olivia Pronzinski has more on how a local school marveled at the phenomenon. When we're young, there can be many learning experiences along the way, like learning the ABCs or riding a bike. There can also be some rare ones along the way. There's a lot of things to learn about. And for many young minds like second grader Addie, the solar eclipse ignited some curiosity. I saw it! The solar eclipse is basically where it's like the sun and then the moon goes in front of it and it makes a shining area in the back. It's like, woo! The sky may have been cloudy, but there was still plenty of excitement in the air. And this is something that is um, a once in a lifetime opportunity for us. And so we just got to take these moments as it goes and um, just enjoy what we are given. Second grade teacher Alyssa Becker Dunn remembers when she got to see her first eclipse. I remember watching it um, when I was at college, but uh, they don't remember it. So to like explain and teach them what a phenomenon this is. At Holy Spirit Catholic School, Kids learned about the rare site for weeks. No, it could be a moon shape, kind of like a crescent, and it could it could be a big crescent, a small crescent, all sorts. It may not have been the highly anticipated spectacle, but at least they have some red glasses to show for it. A little bummed that I couldn't see it, but still, it was really fun to have the opportunity. It won't be until 2044 that we will have another phenomenon in the sky. Reporting in Rochester, Olivia Pronzinski, KGC News. Some impressive little experts there. Olivia, thank you.